Good evening and welcome back once again. So this week we're playing Dynamo Kiev. It's actually a, a double header in terms of what Newcastle have got this week in game. Got CSK Moscow in the cup after this. Um, and this is the last week before the transfer window. So it'll be four weeks of transfers. If you look down at the bottom right, our current funds is just over 28,000. It's probably gonna get up to about roughly 30,000 by the time we get to the break. And our team salary is 16. Now, if we do buy, say, another player, that team salary will obviously go up a bit, depending on what we what we pay for them in terms of their yearly salary. So, say that's going to be about 17,000. We've got maybe 10 or 12,000 that we could spend. That's probably going to be one fairly decent player. Let's see if we can get any sort of offers for any of our players that we're not currently playing. You know, the likes of Wilson, maybe Target, etc. Maybe we can get some offers in for them, but we'll have to wait and see. But let's um, let's jump in and see what team we're playing today. Okay, so a couple of changes. We have actually brought in Target at left back because he's on up condition. And I'm, I'm sure playing him, if he has a decent performance, won't do any harm in offers coming in couple of changes sort of in the attack midfielder roles we've got Bruno, Willock and Brian Hill and the usual Liao and Isaac up front. Yeah but Liao and Isaac didn't have the best of matches between them in the last couple of matches but we'll jump in and see how we get on in the first half against Dinamo Kiev. Not really sure who we need to look at in terms of a second choice goalkeeper. Um, Yeah. So any any sort of advice, leave a comment down below. Obviously this is based on yes, it's an old game, but it is based on up to date sort of squads and players. But ideally for a second choice goalkeeper, want someone that's good enough to come in in certain matches, but uh, ideally a young keeper. Uh 25 at the most, I would say. That's a poor ball. Keeping any mishandles it though. Yeah, he wants uh, a goalkeeper that we can improve, but that is good enough to start the odd match at the same time. Brian Hill got a little bit of space here. Now Dest, ball was a little bit slow to him, otherwise he was uh, had a chance to whip in a ball. Willock, back to Willock. Well defended in the end. Nice header from Dest. Now target out wide to Bruno. Just not quite enough space. Nice ball to Dest though. Liao. Oh, what a header that was. Lovely header. It seemed to be a bit of a, not a loopy ball, but... Yeah, but just he just directed the header really well back across. Quite a bit of power on it. Really nice. Uh, just a nice header there. I just I didn't expect that to go in at all. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm not the best at headers on this game. Um, it might be partly to do with the game itself. Like just some sometimes years heading is easy. Sometimes it's really difficult. Um, Oh, what a finish from Willock. What a tight angle. Played a lovely ball across, but no one was right in the centre. And somehow Willock squeezed that in. Brian Hill with the pass. So he's getting another assist. Brian Hill's on fire at the moment in terms of, um, you know, the passes he's making. He did get a goal in, was it the last match I think he got a goal? Um, 
But in terms of assists, he's just... He's unbelievable. He's, he's going to have to keep starting in that left... Um, that right-hand attack midfielder position, I think. Ah, he got crowded out there, but he'll get a throw in. Needs to maybe work on his strength and his pace a little bit. Just patient. Played out wide to target. No, oh, he's up. Misses it. What's going on? Everyone's missing it there. Lovely tackle from Willock there. And somehow we'll get the throw in. Nice ball out to Dest. Needs a little bit of help though. Brian Hill's there. Lots of white shirts though. No, I just couldn't pick out a man. There's just too many, too many players around. Surely, um, get pushed there. No, all right. Lovely pass again from uh, Brian Hill. It's getting quite absurd, actually, the amount of good passes he's playing. Oh. Isaac, what is that? That was such an easy pass to play. To the point where I didn't even think it he wouldn't make the pass. I was actually thinking about the next part of the uh that well, would have been a shot, but that's a poor pass. But again there's just too many bodies and white shirts. Um, it's getting a little bit crowded. That was a thunderous tackle from Liao. And that'll be the end of the half. I'm happy with that. Yeah, good first half there. Um, the goals were pretty good quality as well. Just need to be a little bit more... Well, sometimes we need to be more patient, other times we need to play it more quickly. It's a weird balance and we're, sometimes we're just getting it... Getting it wrong. Gumarej, oh what a save. He just couldn't quite get the power on but he got the accuracy. It was going into the top corner. Maybe looked a bit more spectacular for the cameras than it needed to be. And what's that? What is that? Well, it was somehow a foul. Um, which I've never seen on a corner in the game. Never seen that before. And that's not a foul. He's got the ball. Such a dangerous pass. Why did I play that? Brian Hill's through here. There's not many bodies in the box though. And he just didn't play a good pass. For once his pass let him down. There wasn't really much support but still oh, it's a terrible pass as well. be out and we're going to make some changes. 
We are actually going to bring off Hill, he's just tiring a little bit, taking off Willock and actually taking off Dest as well, who's been running up and down that right channel all day, bringing on Trippier, Almron and Rainer. Just like flake swaps that were brought on, and it's purely just down to some tired legs um, rather than actual performances or anything like that. I mean, obviously, Brian Hill's been playing really well today. Good take from Nick Pope. Not happy with the defending there, though. Well, more the midfield role. Um, First chance on the ball for Trippier. Ah, just overruns it a little bit. Doing some good pressure. Doesn't get us the ball back though. Poor challenge from Trippy just sliding in when he didn't need to. Good tackle from Gavardio, but it's getting to that stage where you get you make a tackle and you don't get the ball back. Got it that time though. That's not a good ball. Not a good ball. It's the right idea, but what a tackle. Thundering in. And another one. Oh, Almon nearly got it through to Isaac. Nicely read by Guardiola there. Nice ball out wide. Rainer now. Haven't seen much of him since he's come on. Target nearly gets fouled, but play on. Bruno. Oh, that's well wide. Nice lay across the box. Ah, oh, that's shockingly wide. Rain is through here. And Liao's there. Why didn't the keeper go for that? I have no idea. Liao with the tap in. I mean... The keeper's got to get that, surely, hasn't he? Oh, I'll take it, though. 3-0. Those balls across the box don't tend to work that often, and I don't know why I keep playing them so much. Um, but this time it's paid off. Reina wins it. Problem is, there's not that many people around. But Isaac, oh, he loses out. Yeah, Isaac's not on a great run of form the past couple of matches. Um... It's a little bit concerning, but we're still getting the wins mostly. We did have that one blip where we lost. There it is, full time, and it's 3 0. Well deserved win, but tough going at some times as well. But I'll take the three points. And randomly, Target got mine of the match. I'm not quite sure how they worked that one out, but. Um, Liao got two goals and got 6.5, so there we go. I, I thought Brian Hill was probably the best player in the first half. Um, I agree, Isaac wasn't very good again. Reina did a good job, agree with that, when he came on. Um, so some fair fair sort of ratings there. Not sure about the target one, but certainly didn't have a bad game. But that's it for this week, guys, so thank you very much. The next match will be against CSKA Moscow in the Cup. And then it'll be transfer window. So the next match, what we'll probably do 
is I'm not sure yet. Maybe the next match then we'll do the transfer windows or I'll leave it till the next video after that. Start with the transfers and then jump into the match um, after the transfer break. But we'll see what happens. But please like if you did enjoy this. Drop a comment down below. I'll, I'll reply to everyone that I can. And subscribe if you like to see more of these videos as well. Thank you very much for joining and I'll speak to you all soon.